Hi, this is Abul Kalam. Today we are going to learn percentage shortcuts. Five questions with simple tricks. First question: Length and width of a rectangle is increased by twenty percentage. Calculate by what percentage the area is increasing. See, assume that the base is hundred percentage. Anything which is increased by twenty percentage, hundred percentage plus twenty percentage will become one twenty percentage. What is one twenty percentage? 120 by 100. So 120 by 100 is 1.2. Let's see this. What is the area of a rectangle? Length into breadth. What is the new length? 1.2 L. I as I said, 20 percent increasing. New breadth 1.2 B. New area will be 1.2 L into 1.2 B. So it answer is 1.44 B. Now 1.44 L B. Now, when you observe here, how much it is more than one? It is zero point four four. So answer is forty four percentage increase because anything which is more than one, that much increase. For example, if I am getting one point two three, I will say twenty three percentage increase. Let's go to the next question. Salaries of three persons are in the ratio three is to five is to seven. If they got increment of fifty percent, sixty percent, and fifty percent respectively. Then what will be the new salary? As I have said in my previous videos, when you want to remove the ratios three is to five is to seven, you should suffix x. So now what you have to the first step you have to do is three x, five x, and seven x. Okay, this is the first step. Then what you have to do is as I said in the previous um, slide, fifty percent increment is nothing but one point five, right? So three times one point five, five times one point six. And seven times one point five. What is three times one point five? Four point five. What is five times one point six? Nine. What is seven times one point five? Ten point five. So you will get an answer as decimal. Okay, you will get some few cases in decimal. Now four point five. Ah, uh, eight. Sorry, one point five. So what I said, one point five into one point six is eight, right? Five into one point six is eight. For four point five, eight, and ten point five. Now two cases are in decimal. Ratios cannot be expressed in decimal. So multiply this all the terms by two. So four point five into two, eight into two, ten point five into two. So nine, sixteen, and twenty one. The new ratios are nine is to sixteen is to twenty one. This is very important question. It has come in many papers in competition exam. Okay, next question. Three successive discount. Of ten percentage, fifteen percentage, and twenty percentage is equal to single discount. How to do this? Okay, take the base number as hundred percentage. What is hundred percentage minus ten percentage? Ninety percentage. What is hundred percentage minus fifteen percentage? Eighty-five percentage. What is hundred percentage minus twenty percentage? Eighty percentage. Okay, hundred minus fifteen is eighty-five. Hundred minus ten is ninety. Hundred minus twenty is eighty. Now, what is the answer? Let the mark price be hundred. So, just you can multiply hundred into 0.9 multiplied by 0.85 and then multiplied by 0.8. So what is the final answer? We'll get 61.2. But 61.2 is the final answer. 100 minus 61.2 is the single discount. What is 100 minus 61.2? 38.8 percentage. What is the other way to do? Just add all the values. 10 plus 15 plus 20, it will be 45 percentage. So single discount will be less than this. So check out option which are less than 45 percentage. Price of a commodity initially increased by 10 percentage. Then by what percentage should it be decreased to bring back to the original price? How to do this question? As I said earlier, let the original price be 100. Now if the price is increased by 10 percentage, what the final price? It will be 110. Please remember. When the price has become one ten, you have to travel only with one ten. Now, if you decrease ten percentage from one ten, it will become ninety nine. But amount to be reduced is rupees ten. So, what is the percentage to be decreased? So, ten rupees should be decreased from one ten. That is ten by one ten into hundred. That is nine point zero nine percentage. So, answer is nine point zero nine percentage. What is the sh shortcut here? You can learn is if the price of the commodity is increased by ten percentage, it should decrease less than that. Check out which are the options are less than ten percentage. That should be the answer. Let's go to the next question. The last question for this session. Price of a commodity initially increased by ten percentage, then decreased by ten percentage. What is the effective change 
in the price as we saw in the previous slide the first two lines are same let the initial price be 100 increase to 10 percent increase 110 and please remember now the price is going to decrease by 10 percentage it will not decrease from 100 because the price now it is new price is 110 it will decrease from 110 so what is 10 percent of 110 decrease it will be 99 11 will decrease right 99 so what is the effective change 100 has become 99 what is the value now one percentage decrease right because we are taking a, the initial value as 100 the difference will be the percentage okay so answer is decreases one percentage i hope you would have enjoyed this video kindly do remember to subscribe and please follow this uh, please forward this video to your friends okay thank you